guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lottie, I'm a mama too, and we're doing our part three of the cleaning the forgotten jobs. Now there is a few other jobs in this as well that I thought I'd film for you just because I thought I'd splash in a little bit of extra in there for you guys. Um, but if you haven't seen part one or part two, they will be linked down below and there is so much grossness in there that needs cleaning. So you should go check them out. I hope you like it, see you soon. So we're going to start off with cleaning the oven today. Now this gets a build up really fast, especially on the glass, and all I use is elbow grease to lift it off. I would say that I've used uh, oven pride in the past and because of that it's made it much, much easier to keep on top of. But if yours is a lot worse than this, start with an oven pride and then keep on top of it with an elbow grease. So we're going to go straight on and do the vent above the hobs today and all I use is my soda crystals, some white vinegar and some boiling hot water. Um, you put it in an old tray or a pan that you don't really use that often. I use this one that goes under my grill. I hardly ever use it, that's why I'm using it today and it'll also give it a good clean as well. Um, you fill it full of your soda crystals a big dollop of your white vinegar and then fill the tray up with the boiling water and now we're going to go on to the hobs these need a bloody good scrub <laughs> to tell you that um i'm going to use the astonish cookware this thing is amazing it's like a cream and you just literally put it on your areas that have got a, like a rust mark or a stain mark or something like that and you give it a really really good scrub um, in my last video I used it on my toaster and got the little rust mark off the top. I did that super super soft to make sure it wasn't damaging because this <laughs> I do this one day a week fill both baskets up we have an upstairs basket a downstairs basket I do a white wash and then I do about two or three loads of coloreds and I use my comfort pure my astonish oxy active plus and my fairy non bio onto the fridge now this is a very 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 forgotten job I hardly ever clean my fridge. Is that really bad to say? Probably. Um, but we're going to give it the biggest scrub it's ever had. So I'm going to empty it all out, antibacteria it all, and then start filling it all back up. A bit more organised, I would say. <laughs> Thank you. 
So the washing is finished. I'm going to put it in the dryer and then get on to the colours. I'm going to empty my filter and my water container and then fill up the colours. Look at that vent. You can see right through it. It's that clean. So emptying the dishwasher, getting all of that stuff away, ready for it being filled up again in about 10 seconds. <laughs> This is later on in the evening, I'm just doing the rest of the washing. Now on to the vent underneath the washing machine. Did you even know there was one in there? I bet not, not a vent, it's called a filter. Mrs. Hinch told me all about it. I was amazed that we even had one. Didn't even know the front of my thing came off. But as you can see, there was a lot of water inside of it. It flooded the kitchen, but I managed to clean it. The filter is now sparkling clean and we've had this now washing machine for about a year. So I'm gonna say it doesn't need doing now for another year. That's brilliant. <laughs> Now we're gonna do all of my doors. Now this is my Seflora mix. It is one cap with the rest topped up with water and you just spray it on your doors. It smells absolutely amazing and you give it a really good scrub. As you can see, my first door was hideous. This is to stop Bailey from getting out the kitchen. Um, my granddad made it, he literally cut a door in half and put it on for me so it wasn't so much a closed off area. But as Bailey jumps up with his muddy footprints, the door gets a beating. On to the upstairs and we're doing all the same upstairs too. I noticed as I was finishing the door that my mirror had a load of marks on so I'm just going to use my white vinegar spray and give it a good rub. Onto the bath, now the kids use this and leave it like a tip every single time. So we're gonna get rid of the toys and we're gonna use my Flash with Bleach. This is from the Pound Shop. It is brilliant stuff. You can use it on loads of different things in your house like your sink and your cooker and loads of things. Anyway, um, my bath mat, I hate to say it, but that black stuff underneath comes so quickly because of Ella's creams that we have to put in the bath. It's sort of like really oily. Um, so this flash with bleach really helps lift it and get rid of the, the blackness and the gooiness of it. And as you can see at the top, there is a black mark of mold along the seal where one of the kids toys have been sat for too long. And I'll show you how we get rid of that in a minute. So all we're going to do is get a ball of cotton wool, roll it out, and then fill the cotton wool with bleach and leave it overnight. How amazing is that hack? And it comes off sparkling clean in the morning. I'm going to try my flash magic erasers to get these marks off the wall. Someone advised me to get them um, on my last video, but unfortunately it didn't work. So we went on to the chalk method writing a bit of chalk over the top of the oily cream that Ella gets from her creams for her eczema again um, but that didn't work either I'm afraid so if there is any other ideas how to get cream off a wall please please leave it in the comments down below thanks guys for watching
watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. And in the comments, say you'd like another one. And we'll get onto it as soon as I can. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye.